Only a week ago, food delivery platform Swiggy announced that it would use drones to carry out deliveries as part of a pilot project in NCR and Karnataka. Today, we take you behind the scenes at Garuda Aerospace in Chennai to get you the lowdown on these drones, how they are made and what their testing protocols are like. The safest uh, manner as well as the most quickest way between any two places is a straight line. And um, via drones, you have a very economic and a safe option to ensure that you are travelling uh, the shortest amount of distance in the quickest amount of time. We felt that we could genuinely uh, support the mission of Swiggy's Instamart which is using their dark stores in order to deliver under 12 minutes. I think we can do that uh, between 6 to 8 minutes provided that uh, like you know we are within a 10 kilometer to 12 kilometer radius. We would deploy maybe 3 to 5 uh, drones in Bangalore at the moment and host Kote and uh, we would be testing out real live action deliveries and there's not going to be any uh, fake orders or anything like that. It's going to be real customers and we are going to figure out um, two different ways, methodologies. One is uh, uh, the last mile delivery wherein um, the drone does the entire end-to-end -end delivery from point A to point B. And the other is a hybrid model where we deliver to a particular point and then the last mile is still taken care of by the delivery boy. At present, Garuda Aerospace uses these drones to conduct precision agricultural operations across the length and breadth of this country. When it comes to delivery of parcels, however, a few changes to the application are in order. For instance, this storage tank used in agricultural operations comes off and your Swiggy order goes right back in its place. We are also using two different types of drones. One which will actually go and land, the other one which will be uh, um, accompanied with a winch and a cable which will lower down the package. I would assume that in a city there cannot be anything less than about 300 to 400 drones that are positioned to ensure that deliveries are done. In the demographic of tier 1 and tier 2 cities alone, uh, we would need no less than about 2,500 to about 3,000 drones in a, like the first phase. Economic feasibility is something which we will need to um, pay close attention. Today our delivery uh, personnel gets paid uh, upwards of 40 rupees per kilometer or anywhere between 40 to maybe 65 rupees per delivery. And we would want to ensure that our delivery rates uh, via drones are hovering around the same price.